Hi, uh, welcome to Lyons Township High School. Uh, we're gonna do an example uh, with using um, the moment of inertia and net torque on a system uh, to calculate something about that system. And this is a variation of a problem that we have done previously. Um, this is what I would call a, a shortcut uh, to solving a problem, and it's actually very brief. So uh, the system uh, that we're talking about, and this one we did extensively in our previous chapter, is you have a pulley. It's got a mass of big M and a radius big R, okay? And from that, you've got some string wrapped around it, and then you have a little mass hanging off of there. And um, what we did in the past is we found uh, the acceleration of that mass downward, and using that, we were able to find the tension in that string, okay? So, um, and we did that by doing the following things. We did, um, we have two objects moving. We have the disc rotating and we have the mass uh, linearly accelerating. So we drew two FBDs. Um, we, drew, we did Newton's second law on each one. We did net force equals MA on this one, net torque equals I alpha on this one. Um, we know alpha is equal to A over R. And then um, we were able to find that acceleration of your system. Um, and then you can, once you've got the acceleration of your system, you plug that back into either of those two Newton's second law equations, and you get your tension in the string. Well, turns out you can find the acceleration of this mass um, pretty easily in kind of looking at the entire system. Okay? So when you look at the entire system, you, you draw an FBD of all the forces that act external to the system. Um, so, for instance, you've got gravity pulling down on each block, so I'll draw that. So that's a little mg, and that's big mg. You've got a pin holding this up, so I'll call that f sub p, okay? And then the only other forces acting here is you've got tension, but that's an internal force. You've got this, this tension pulling down on the disc and up on the block, and so if you look at it as a one big system, you draw a box around this entire system, that force is internal. It doesn't, doesn't affect uh, the system. Okay? It affects the individual pieces of the system, but not the system overall. So what we're going to do is we're going to do net torque on the system equals I alpha of your system. Okay? Now, um, the net torque on the system, well, um, we're going to do this as our axis, okay? So in other words, a big MG and the pin force, the, the whatever the support force is there, they don't cause any torque about that point because they act through that point. The only external force to the entire system is that little guy right there. So um, torque is, is force times radius or radius cross force. So the radius is just R and then the force is MG. That's the entire torque acting on, external torque acting on your system. For moment of inertia, here's where it gets tricky, okay? You've got to add the moment of inertia of the disk, Now that one's easy. Um, it's one half big M R squared plus, now here's where it gets tricky. This little dude, what you can do is treat him like a point mass that acts along this line, okay? So his motion acts along that line. Well, you know, from our, our talk about perpendicular lever arm, his perpendicular lever arm is simply R, okay? And he's basically behaving like a point mass. In other words, if he was stuck right there, um, you would get the same angular acceleration for your system, at least at this moment, while he's horizontal with the, uh, with the axis. So it's as if he's a little point mass right there. What's the moment of inertia of a point mass? It's just MR squared, okay? So we're gonna add little m R squared, okay? That is the moment of inertia of your system, okay? Um, and again, you treat anything moving linearly like a point mass, its radius is the perpendicular lever arm from the axis of rotation, okay? And we got alpha. Well, alpha, we know, is just A over R, okay? We want to find the acceleration of this little guy. Well, that's just alpha times R, or um, alpha is A over R. Uh, when you do all that, okay, all the radii cancel out. You've got one R canceling with one of these and this guy canceling with one of those. So I'll drop all my radii, okay? And then you end up with little mg equals one half big M plus little m 
a and a of this of the little dude is little mg over one half big m plus little m. So you'll note that it's a really short solution. Okay, um, you get the acceleration in a couple lines of work. And now, if you did want to go back and find the tension in the string, you would still have to um, pick either the pulley or the little mass and draw it individually, uh, which is very easy to do. Um, I'll do the little mass. So you got the little mass. Forces acting on him are little mg oh, and the tension. Okay. And now, by the way, quick note, would the tension be more, less, or equal to little mg? Well, this dude's accelerating down. So the downward force has to be bigger than the upward force, or tension's got to be less than little mg. Uh, and also, because he's moving down, you make down positive. Um, so if we do net force equals ma, OK, we got mg minus tension equals ma. And a, we know it's that. Um, so I'll put that in here. We got little mg over 1 half big M plus little m. And then, um, now I'm not going to do too much math with this, but I will say this. If you move t over to there, and then you move all this over to there, you get little mg minus this expression, which if you put the m in there, it'd be little m squared g over 1 half big M plus little m. So that would be the tension in that string which is clearly less than mg because you got mg minus something. Okay? Um, so there you go. That's a quick way to find tension in the string. And then, of course, if we gave you numbers, you'd be able to solve them. So um, again, any problem that we give you, you can, you can do these individually. You can do Newton's second law individually on each piece, and that will always work. But there are many cases where looking at the system as a whole um, is beneficial and sometimes very easy to do. So hope that was helpful, and uh, hope you get to use it. Thank you very much.